All right, we're going to take a look at how to identify spam, viruses, uh, any sort of improper email when it comes to you. We get a lot of questions, people asking us, you know, well, how, how do I know when something's a virus? You know, I, I've clicked the virus before and I didn't mean to, but it looked realistic. Well, we're going to identify that right now. We're going to go through a few sample emails to kind of see what's going on. Uh, here's the first one. It's, uh, it says it's from Kia Clearance Invitation from Nissan. It's got a picture. Uh, chances are this is probably real. It's a you know it's a spam ad trying to sell us a car. I don't know what this website is. You always kind of want to look in the subject line, who it's from, etc. So this one is a Nissan ad. Not a problem. I'm not going to click it. Just going to delete it. Next one tells me I've got a, a free Walgreens reward. I see these for PayPal, uh, Sam's Club. N nothing's free. Okay, and if you have this mentality where you're going to get something free in an email, uh, you need to scratch that away right now permanently. Nobody is going to sit there and send you emails for free things. Okay, you're not going to send people you don't know emails offering offering free things to them. No one is going to do it to you. If this gift card is fifty dollars, it's going to end up costing you. If you click this, uh, if it's not a virus, it's going to cost you more than fifty dollars in signups, magazine signups, or whatever they've got questionnaires. You're going to spend more than fifty dollars. They will not. Th these people are trying to make money, as is everyone. So there's going to be a catch behind it. Uh, do I think this is a virus? No, but it's definitely not something I'm going to click on. Nothing is free. Next. Okay, we got a document from DocuSign. Now, DocuSign is a legit company. You can see right here at the bottom, DocuSign. This email is not real. This is a fake email. I can tell. I can tell because number one, I don't know anybody named Tyler Wallace. I wasn't expecting any documents from Tyler Wallace, which means that there is a 99% chance that this guy is not for real. This is not a legit email. If you're not expecting a document or a zip file or an attachment or a PDF or a Word document, delete it. If you're not expecting it from somebody, if somebody didn't tell you on the phone, you need to delete it. Uh, I don't know who Tyler Wallace is. I do know that docus.com is legit. But just because it says it's coming from docus.com does not mean that's where it's coming from. This is the displayed email, not the actual email. Okay, you can't get into the actual email without looking into a little bit more uh, detail on the email, which isn't important right now. Um, documents been completed. It, it doesn't say my name. It doesn't say dear Jim on here. It doesn't say hey we spoke on the phone last week. It just says I need a document. It's got my email address, and it's got a link. Now this link, if I highlight over it, when you hold your mouse over a link, you'll see where the link is right above it in that little pop-up box. Okay? You'll also see it down here at the very bottom of the screen. I'll move the mouse over, look at the bottom left, it says search for athletes. Okay, Search for athletes is not a DocuSign uh, website. So we know that this is not going to take us where we think it's going to take us. So this is a virus. Okay, This is probably ransomware, but it's definitely a virus. Now. These come through and it's, it scares you into doing something. It scares you into clicking on it because you think you're going to miss something. So there's this urgency. Well, what if it's real? What if? What if? It's not real. All right. If you don't expect something, if you don't have something coming in that you expect, if you don't recognize the person, if the document doesn't match the link, if it doesn't even say your name in the email, it is not real. This is 100% a virus. I do not need to click on that to find out. Delete it. Here's another one. William Harris, no idea. I don't know any William Harris. Uh, it doesn't say, hey Jim, we spoke on the phone last week. It says an email address and a bunch of stuff that looks legit, but it's not. Hold the mouse over, and there it is. Same, same whoever's putting this through, it's the same one. Fine, let's get rid of it. Here's another one. Oh, nothing but a zip file. This here is 100% a virus. If you run that, you are going to lose all your data in your computer at the very least. Never open attachments from anybody, even if you know who they are. I know who this person is, but this is not this is not who sent me this, okay? They can send you an email and make it look like it's coming from someone you know. And you think, well, I know this person, so it's okay. No. If you're not expecting an email from that person who already said, listen, I'm going to send you a document called blah 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 dot zip, he didn't do this, and I didn't ask for this, okay? This is 100% a virus. So we're going to delete that one. Here's another one. Here we've got one saying that someone shared uh, a Google Docs document with an Open in Docs link. Now this actually, this link goes to Google, all right? This is an actual, if you look at the bottom left hand side of the screen, this doc, this link actually goes to Google. 
but it is not a valid link, it is a virus. It'll take you to Google, open your documents, and then it will share a virus through Google Docs with you. Again, if you did not ask for this, if you're not expecting somebody to send you something, do not click it, either respond and ask them, call them on the phone, um, or delete it. All right, this is bad. And we got one more, Prudential Financial. Now this one says it's from Prudential. It says it's Prudential.com. Normally that's legit. Um, we have processed payment today. Here's the wire confirmation. Okay, it doesn't say my name. Hey Jim, we spoke yesterday. Uh, it's got a link that takes me to uh, someplace in Japan. That's not right. If you look at it, this is not, this is not something that we want to click on. Uh, it's a Japan website, smpl.jp, an invoice. This is 100% a virus. All right? Now, you might have a Prudential account or a Chase bank account or a PayPal account or a Facebook account, and if something comes from one of those companies at facebook.com, it is not coming from there. They can what they call spoof their email address to make it look like it's coming from someplace that it's not. So if you get an email from something and it doesn't have your name, it says to, and then just your email address, uh, and you're not expecting it, delete it. Do not click on these. Don't run any documents. Um, a lot of times you'll get one that says that PayPal has received a charge from you, that a lot of money was taken into your bank account with Chase, um, that your uh, American Express card has been hacked is another one, uh, that your Facebook account is trying to be hacked into. Normally those are all fake. Right? That's not how they contact you. If somebody's trying to hack into your Chase bank, uh, credit card, They'll probably call you and email you. What you do in all of these situations is ignore the email, go to the website, open up the internet, manually go to chase.com, manually go to paypal.com. Type it in yourself so you're knowing, you know you're going there. So if you get an email saying that someone charged something to your PayPal account, log into your PayPal account and take a look. And you'll see whether or not there was a charge. Chances are the email you got is fake. So do not believe these things, do not fall for them. Never open anything with an attachment unless you're expecting it. Look into the email. If it says, dear, your email address, that is not, that's not right. It's not real. Uh, if it says a package is trying to be delivered to you and they're gonna send it back if you don't click something, it's not real. That's not, they wouldn't have your email address. United States Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, they're not gonna have your email address unless you manually signed up and are expecting that package. They don't know how to get in touch with you. Don't click on anything unless you know for an absolute fact.